Graham Wagg enjoyed his day in the LV County Championship as he claimed figures of 6 for 44 against his old county Derbyshire, although that still wasn't enough to give Glamorgan the edge in Cardiff. Wayne Madsen won the toss and batted and may soon have regretted that after Martin Gupta was out to the fifth ball of the match, edging Wagg to gully. Things worsened for the visitors when Wagg struck again to start his fourth over, Madsen bang in front to an inswinger. Wagg is an entertaining cricketer and is always good to watch, especially when in form like this. Wes Durston kept him out for a while, but Wagg, who left Derbyshire in 2010 after five seasons, was soon jumping for joy again as he had Paul Borrington LBW to leave his former teammates on 35 for three. Then, in the seventh over of his opening spell, Wag struck for a fourth time, Durston nicking a drive behind to go for 18. Few would have thought that that would be one of the better scores of the day. Dan Redfern, fresh from his maiden ton in last week's impressive win over Northamptonshire, had made just seven this time. Jim Allenby had him trapped in front. At 44 for five, the visitors were in a big hole, but they did well to at least clamber some way out of it. That was thanks to the best partnership of the day between Russ Whiteley and David Wainwright, the man who'd bowled them to victory last week. The two left-handers enjoyed the fact that the wonderful wag was out of the attack, and by the time the morning session came to an end, they doubled the total to 88. Suddenly things weren't looking so bad. All but two overs of the afternoon session were lost because of a thunderstorm, and to the first ball of the resumption after tea, Allenby had Wainwright leg before for 21, at 92 for six. Rested now after a long break, Wag was reintroduced into the attack, but he didn't pull up any trees when he first came back on, with Jonathan Clare playing in with some ease as he and Whiteley carried the tally to 112. But Wag was not going to be denied and he bowled Whiteley for a day's top score of 28 for his fifth wicket and his best figures for Glamorgan. And things got even better in his next over when he had Clare caught at the wicket for 21. The innings folded quickly thereafter with Moises Henriquez dismissing both Tony Palladino and Mark Footit, with Wag taking 6 for 44 from 18 impressive overs. Derbyshire had been dismissed for just 130 in 50 overs. Glamorgan's batsmen really struggled in their defeat to Leicestershire last week and they did so again here in reply. Only Gareth Rees will know why he left this ball from Palladino alone. Footy then got a ball to shape in very nicely to also bowl Stuart Walters. And Will Bragg was quickly given out LBW after Palladino hit him on the pads. It was a bowler's paradise this, and Footy was unlucky not to pick up his second wicket as Tom Poynton put down Ben Wright. The keeper didn't need to lose any sleep over that, however, as Clare came on to trap right in front, the fourth Glamorgan batsman to go without getting into double figures. The Welshman ended the day on 37 for four and that could have been five had another sharp chance not been spilled at short leg to give the night watchman Dean Kosker a life. Not that Derbyshire will be too upset with the outcome of the day. They will fancy their chances of more breakthroughs on day two when Glamorgan will resume on 37 for four, 93 runs behind their opponents.